we call it Yongtupka. Yongtupka translates into our, from our language in Hopi to English would mean Salt Canyon. And Salt Canyon is the reason why we, it's very heavily, I mean, it's, it's a very sacred site to us. It's part of our ceremony journey when men get initiated into what they call menhood societies. They track down here all the way from Hopi, well over 150 miles, probably a two week trip to get small bags of salt, return back to Hopi, to their ants, if they were fortunate enough not to get injured or in some cases lose their life in order to carry the duties of what the responsibilities of Hopi is. The uh, Salt Canyon, what we call Salt Canyon, also has other reasons why we're here. And um, if you look at some of our weavings and the songs that come from here, it's always back, reflecting back to where the Creator first met us. The Creator allowed us to be here today to share the land with nature and others. Hopi was given the title of being stewards of the land. And today we're still practicing that in some ways, but with the encroachment and also the new ideas of the Western ideas, life has changed. Life has changed to the point of a lot of us, we're starting to forget our teachings, the reasons why, but yet we know the real importance of what Hopi was given right from the start, which was a short ear of corn. And that's what we are known for as the best dry farmers in the world. And that is the lifeline. We're simple people. We're very simple people, but very um, religiously tied to this land. We understand the complications of life We've woven life and nature together. And that's what has given us life this, this far. We believe that as the gifted people from the Creator, we're the ones that set our footprints throughout this whole globe. Maybe unbelievable, but as far as according to the non-native studies, they says, well, it was a certain kind of people. I always say this at the national parks, we don't know what happened to these people. But if you look at it today, if you go out to Hopi, we're still alive. We're still those people that walked these land thousands and thousands of years ago.